Hi guys, uh, I haven't a clue what I'm going to call this today. Uh, something I'm going to call it like a braided inlay. Uh, I've never done it before, haven't a clue, there must be a name for it out there. But let me get on with it anyway so I don't keep rabbiting on. You'll get the idea of it as we go along, if you, that's if you don't fall asleep in the middle of the video of course. You've all seen this tool before. Uh, you can buy them, Tandy do them and other people do them, yeah just have a look online, I can't remember the name of it, lace cutter or thong cutter or something like yeah. Uh, I haven't used it for a while so uh, it might be blunt. Again on this video, uh, what I've done is cut a hole, put it in the middle of the hole here uh, and because the thing I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make a piece in white and I'm going to make a piece in black, uh, you can do it all black, all brown, all yellow, pink, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'll go for this measurement here, uh, what I've done is I put it in here. Uh, through the hole and then you turn but as I say this might be blunt I haven't used it in fact I loaned it out to somebody so uh, I might have to start the video and start rubbing all over again here we go so you get a tiny bit and it'll still break until I get it smooth yeah you get a tiny bit I'm sure you've seen this in videos and I do aim to stop and start this video quite a bit because of the thing I'm doing you don't want to sit and watch me cut hundreds of pieces of leather into shape right this is an awkward bit coming through so so I say, bear, oh you nonsense. I'm getting better at not swearing. Oh, uh, incidentally, you get to be the first to know this, but uh, as you probably know at the moment, I'm in Danoon, Scotland. And uh, I do a saddlery school. Did I keep going off camera now? I'm probably still on camera. Yeah, so I do a saddlery school, as people know. I'm in the building right now. Um, one of the things I wanted to do, I've always wanted to do, is to accommodate people uh, rather than have to go and pay for an expensive hotel. So uh, today I put an offer in for a farm, uh, 11 acres of land. I don't know if that's a lot of land or not, it's certainly a hell of a big lawnmower. Uh, and uh, they've accepted my offer. So we're going to be moving soon. I'm not going to say much more than that until I get the building ready. I've got to go and demolish buildings and rebuild buildings and stuff. Uh, but it'll be certainly a better school. Um, yeah, far easier for people because I get people coming from Russia and uh, India and America, Belgium, France, uh, you name it, I get people coming from everywhere. Okay, so this is it started now, as I say, it's an awkward thing, but it started. Right, so let's just keep going and then just keep pulling it. And as I say, you've seen this before, yeah? So keep pulling it, keep pulling it, keep pulling it. More and more, I'm getting yards and yards and yards and yards. Oh, here, let me just tell you the size of this. This piece of leather I'm cutting is about 8 inches, uh, eight, 8 or 9 inches by 8 or 9 inches. And I'll tell you the length of getting, the width I'm getting out of this. So if I just keep pulling, great little tool. And I don't, I think it used to be 8 95 but I noticed it at 15 pounds the other day. There we go, that's me coming to the end of it. Right, so that's that. Uh, and just to show you what I've got out of it, piece of thong. Now I'm going to measure that, what was that, 8 by 8 so let me tell you the measurement. For these people in metric, I'm sure you can look on the internet, uh, let me measure in metres, so that's 1 metre, 2 metres, 3 metres, 4 metres, yeah just over 4 metres, you can see the little tiny bit in there. So 4 metres out of 8 by 8 and the width of this in is a quarter of an inch and in metric it's about half a centimetre, just over half a centimetre, so that's quite a lot of thong you get. I mean really for me that's a piece of leather that belongs in a bin, yeah? Uh, and I'm going to do the exact same, hang on, just off camera, I'm going to do the exact same in white but you're not going to get to see me doing it because you've just seen me doing it and as I said I don't want to fall your sleep so let me just show you how I cut a, I've got to cut a circle, this is how I cut a circle. So fold the leather in four corners, so just fold it in half, fold it in half, and then you get a little circle, whoop, little circle there. Um, and then you pop that in the middle of it, and then you start turning it. Okay, I'm going to put you in pause until I cut this. If I can find the pause button, that is. Okay, back again. Right, I've got my two thongs, I've got my, my white and my black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into, as I said, I haven't a clue what I'm doing. You know, I'm really making this up as I go along. Um, but... It's a fairly simple thing, so I know it's going to work out. Um, measurements wise, I'm going to go for 8 inches. Yeah, so let me just show you that to the camera. But you can do whatever size you want. So I'm doing, can you see that? Where are we? I'll cover it with my fat hands. 
Hang on. I'll bring it up to there. Eight inches. Yeah, so I'm doing eight inches. I'm going to chop them all off. Is that going to be enough? I'm going to give, yeah, let me make it nine inches. So I'll give it an extra inch. Yeah. I'm cutting it off and you'll notice I'm dropping it into the water. Yeah. So straight into water. I'm going to get another one into the water. And when I get a whole pile, I don't know how many I need. I'm going to cut too many, I think. But um, there we go, nine. So again, nine into the water. And again, into the water. Uh, this should be warm water, but um, I haven't, yeah, it takes me too long to boil a kettle, so I'm just using cold. But you want tepid warm. Uh, as you know, when I do these videos, I tend to be in doing some work. And then if I get some time at the end of it, uh, I just kind of make something up and just at the top of my head and just do it like, yeah. Um, I did have a wee go at this uh, the other day. I had somebody here from America and we did a little one. So half of it did come from there and that's where the idea came from. So as I say, I've been in my workshop. I'll show you what I'm making. Hang on, let me just go and grab it. And then I'll turn the video off. Uh, I'm making a saddle. Oh. There you go. So I've put together a saddle. This is the top half of it. Uh, and it's just the seat and things that I've done like, yeah. So that, that's what I'm making there. Uh, I'm going to make the whole saddle. That's the top half of it done like, yeah. So just to let you see what I do for a living. Uh, it's for some days. For a, it's for a project. All right. So you know I'm going to cut a load of these. I'm going to cut the white ones up. I'm going to cut the black ones up. I'm just putting them in the water. Uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. I uh, back again because I've been a dork. I'm measuring every single one of these up and as a winner. And I've just thought of something. So literally I've measured nine. I'm going to coil it like this because they don't need to be precise. So it's just, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm all for speed. Uh, why I do speed? You know, because I keep on about everything has to be done fast, 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 fast. One obviously is to make money. That's not my, my main reason for doing speed. My main reason that you have to become fast is yes, money is important, but... It's the less, t if you take forever, you're touching your leather too much and you're making it second hand as you make it, as you make it. Have you ever watched a professional working? We just get through it and we go bang, 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 job done. That way we're not touching it so much. That way we're not making a second hand product. Uh, we're making a brand new product. So anyway, on these there, just cut all them here and that was my fast way of doing it. Uh, into the water and then the exact same. I'm going to do the exact same on camera for this. Uh, there's a wee horrible end I don't need. Actually, I could have left it on. So there's my nine inches. So I say it doesn't have to be fast. So there's two, one, two. Down you go. Because this doesn't have to be precise. There we go. the bottom oh now I've got a farm does that mean I've got to buy a tractor hey all these years I wanted to grow up and be a train driver now I'm going to be a, a tractor driver I'm going to be a, dem a uh, I'm going to be a demolition man you watch how fast I get it into knocking these buildings down and uh, get somebody in to rebuild new ones fix all my mistakes right there you are tons of them here yeah so again, just through there, pull them all. There's another one. Here's another one. Oop. Right, so there you go. That's all my thongs cut uh, to size, yeah? And again, they're all going to go in the water. All in the water. I'm going to get them all wet. That's what happens when you put it in water. That's a stupid thing to say. I'm going to get them all wet. No, I'm putting them in the water to get them dry. Duh. Right, okay, I'm going to go off lane. Uh, I'm going to set up a board, I'm going to pin a lot of these down, as I say, you don't need to watch me cut loads of things and pin stuff, but you'll see it as I go along, back in a minute. Okay, back again, let me just see if I can zoom in here, which is always a mistake, because uh, I lose half of it, there we go. Alright, I've got a strip of white leather here, uh, I'm going to put, this is a, a tingle, I'll show you a tingle in a minute, I'll show you a tingle, less than a minute in fact, ouch, ouch. Problem with tingles is they snap your finger. It's a little, uh, a little. I think I've shown you them before. Just a little wire nail with a very, very sharp point on it. Yeah. Uh, so I've got this out here. Bring it down here. I think I want it tight. I don't know, because at some point I need a bit of moving. So in there, get another strip out of the water. Oh, you nonsense! I'm breaking my first rule. Hang on. Let me just take that out. What well, I should have sold you. 
because this is platinum braiding I'm doing, I always put the nice side down and I always look at the bad side because I find, uh, certainly in, in braiding, I don't know about this, yeah, uh, I'll know at the end of it. When I braid, if I braid upside down, the, the nice side's always a bit underneath and I think I mentioned that in a video. So on this leather, I've just taken it out uh, and the reason is to turn it round so that you've got it going, the, if you like, the flesh side's up the wrong way around and I need a new nail, I'm being tight here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So if we get these blank moments, then I might have to start singing. Yes, sure as hell don't want to hear me singing. Right, so that's that one in. Let me get another one out. And these are wet because it uh, helps them dry and they become tighter and mold together. But the speed I'm doing this video, I'm meant to leave it to dry. But I'm gonna, so I'm going to machine it wet. Yeah, if I get to the machine instead, you'll see how I feel. Right. I say, you, you don't want to watch this, um, me doing all of these. So, you can see what I'm doing. I'll do one more. Uh, I'll take, oh, that's a wee tiny one. Where did that come from? That can go. That's better. Must have been the off cut. I'll do one more. I'm hoping you're seeing this, are you? Yeah. Right, so I'm lining that up there. Put the pin in here. Don't have my big fat hands in the way. So I'll do that there. Get my next one. Bring this back here. And in. Right, so they're all fairly close together here. Hang on, lift it up so as you can see. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to just do a whole lot of them and then I'll come back on in a second. Okay, I'm back again, guys. Let me show you that. I've pinned them all down. And yeah, 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 you can see it all. Yeah, so it's all pinned down, right? Next, I'm going to get my black ones. Let me just push this over here a wee bit zoom in with the camera and then hopefully this works right how's that yeah camera works definitely not my forte at all right so i've got the black ones oh i had to cut more white i didn't have enough and i might end up having to cut more black so what is it's basically an up and under up and under up and under is what i'm hoping to do so i'll just bring it here so under this one let me move that cam and again don't forget to do it the right way around yeah move that back Lift this up. I'm going to try it. Let me just see if I can move that camera for you. Because I think you'll see it better. Provided my battery doesn't run out. Let me just shift that around there. Shift the whole thing up here. Oops. And down like that. A wee bit to zoom out on it. Right. A wee bit more zoom out. There you go. Alright, so it's an under, up and under movement. So I'm going to lift this up. Push that under there. I think you'll get the idea of it. Hang on, I need a tool. I wonder if I can do this. So, lift that one up. Put it under. Did I just do that wrong? I did. Just did it wrong. Right, if this doesn't work out, you watch how fast I start doing my bad jokes. And as usual, if any of you work for Mercedes, I need a new car. We have a Sunday from Oman, got a lot of spare money, Dubai, America, France, Germany, just buy me one. It will go to a good use. Me bombing up and down the motorway. See how many more, more speeding fines I can get and points on my licence. One doesn't advocate speeding, of course. I would never do that much. Right. I've lost my track here. See, you put me off now. It's all your fault. If in doubt, blame somebody else. God, this is this is definitely watching the pain. I said this before. I don't think I could watch my own videos. I don't know, actually. <laughs> right, there we go. So I just spin them all around. So you can see that one's an in, in, out, in, out, in, out, yeah? So the next one is this one. And we can move it up and down as it goes along. Let me just get a, a straighter one. 
I'm going to do one more, then we'll go off camera and I'll put it back on. So this one goes over the first one, obviously, and then under the next one. Oop. In the schools in Scotland, certainly when I was a kid, uh, we were taught to do weaving and stuff, and, and mending fishing nets as well. Uh, I can assure you it was no good whatsoever because I've never mended a fishing net and I've never done weaving. So, much like again in school when I was a kid, they made you do Scottish dancing. And uh, when you're a rough wee tough kid and you're told to dance with a girl when you're 13, that don't go down well, yeah. Because us romantic Scots people want to be standing in the corner looking, not actually working. Just try to build up the courage to go and say hi. Right, here we go. Right, so you can see you can see what's happening. I'll get to the other side and then I'll hopefully hopefully one can tighten it up. Just pull it through a wee bit. That's it. Oh I'll tell you how many strands I've got as well. I mean not that it makes it no, just the amount of strands is to do with your project. Just pull that through a wee bit more. This one's came out, so this needs to pull through a wee bit more as well. That's it. Right. Tighten that up. Right, so now I'm going to slide it up. Hopefully get it up really nice and tight. There you are. That takes quite a bit of force, really. That's quite cute. Right. Bring that in. Bring that in. Pull the two of them tight. Squeeze that lot up. Right, so you can see, you start to see your black and white check here. I'm going to do more of these because you really don't want to watch me doing this. Uh, and I'll come back to you when I've done quite a bit. Cheers. Okay, guys, back again. Uh, you can see what I do. I'll give a wee zoom in on this, make you dizzy. Well, it's a bit psychedelic, isn't it? Obviously, this is the bad side. It's going to get better. Um... I'm going to put one more in just to uh, remind you. Uh, I think another tip, but I'm unsure, is these strands I've made tight, maybe make them slightly slacker. Um, and it might be better better for you. Right. Let me just do one more, uh, which is an up and over here. Just to uh, remind you, it was only two seconds ago for you, but it was ten minutes ago for me. So there we go. I get people saying to me, why don't you show your face on the uh, video? Uh, that's an easy answer. That's for security reasons. Uh, social security reasons. I can't let the government know I'm working on the side. Nah, the real reason is that uh, I'm going to sell my... I'm going to print off my pictures and sell them as a safety device. So you'll be able to buy a picture of my face soon as a safety device. Stick it on top of your fireplace and that'll keep the kids well away from the fire. Hand the dogs. Yeah, the jokes are funny, but I laugh at them. The fun are not funny. I can't remember. Right. This is the problem with this. This particular one's a bit tight. Yeah, so if I eased it off, then it's probably going to go under there a tiny bit better. But you can get you get the idea of it. And then just get a wee pull. Get the next one. And then under. And then the next one. And then under. And then it's every second one, obviously, yeah. As I said earlier, I've made an offer in a farm today. It's been accepted, and I should uh, I should own it in about in Scotland four to six weeks. I should own it, and but it'll take me that longer, much longer to move into it. Uh, I'm selling a few of my houses at the moment. Uh, and that's keeping me busy. Okay, I'm going to say that's it, yeah? The only other thing I would say, can I do with this? Get a rolling pin. Um, will I get a rolling pin of some sort? Nah, well, hang on. Two seconds, this might do it. Yeah, get, uh, get a rolling pin, nip into the cupboard. Well, you got it, you might as well bake some cakes and send me some. Uh, and then flatten it down. The other way you can do it, you can simply just get a hammer and tighten the fibres, yeah? Loosen it all down.
right, that should do it. I'm going to turn you off for a second because I've got to go and get something uh, and then I'll be back. Give me a minute. Okay, miracles of camera, I'm back again. Right, what well, I went to get there. Now, you don't need to do what I'm doing, yeah? Uh, I've got a roll this. We use this in saddle making. And what it is, it's, it's, a, it's a piece of cotton and it's got a kind of glue on the back. And what I do is I iron it and it makes it stick. You're probably not going to have this. Don't worry about it. Just go and get a piece of cloth, any cloth. A piece of leather will do the same job. Glue all over here. Glue your piece of leather and just stick it as normal. So you don't need to do this bit. This is just easy. And this might not work because this is still wet. Really, I should be leaving this overnight for it to dry and it'll become tighter. But I want to just get on with the video. Uh, so let's see if it works. It might not work. So I'll get a piece of this. Stick it on there. Uh, this is too much. Don't waste stuff. Right, get your... Oh, if, if anybody sees my wife, don't tell her this. She don't watch my videos, but I pinched her iron. Yeah. So just put that on there. And then iron it. This is the tool for getting the marks out of leather. This as well. Watch one of my earlier videos. Right. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm hoping it. Oops, it's moving about there. Never sure anything's going to work. As I say, I make this lot up as I go along. Right. Fingers crossed on this one, guys. That I don't mess it up. Yeah, it's got a bit of grip. Let me just turn the iron off. The iron's hot if anybody wants to nip around and get my shirts. Okay, let me zoom out ever so slightly on this. Right, normally what I'd do is the next, normally, I've not done it before. I would do in the next bit is I would just, uh, I'm going to cut a shape and I would cut it out right now, yeah? But because you guys have been watching this, I want to look at the other side. Papa, I want to see it for myself. So all these nails have to come out. Oops, that's not a good thing. So maybe the iron's not working. I might have to glue it. Let me have a wee look at this. Yeah, it's not going to really take. I think it'll be enough though. Let me just get that iron on now. Right, I was going to take all that off there, but I think it's too dodgy. I'm just going to cut a shape. Now, this shape can be any shape you want it to be, yeah? Um, I need to... I never thought of the shape. I should have bloody thought of the shape before I did the video. Um, and I've only got a tiny piece here. That, this will do. Hang on. Oh, this fits. Circle, yeah? Plonk it on top. Let me see what I've got here for decent stuff. I think I can go with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble on this guys. Right, so I need a knife. Have a knife would help. Uh there's one over there. Right, here we go. Can you see that? If you're going to do this, do it with a sharp knife, not my knife. I've got a two week saddle making course starting Monday. I need to start thinking about that and getting ready for it. I've got three people coming on it. All making dress side saddles. Right, is it, oops, just knocked something there. Right, so that's that. Let me just cut around here. So this is going to be an inlay or something onto a piece of scrap leather, but you'll make it into an inlay in a bag or a saddle or something. Right, is that through? That's through. That's certainly through. That's through, that's through. I should go and sharpen this knife, you know. A little tip for you, sharpen your knives. I think I've even got a video on how to sharpen knives, this is a cheek. This is blunt as blunt can be, you know. Two minutes. Right, 
Right, if in doubt, get the knife out. This is my favourite knife, this. Not really for doing this. I think we have a circle. Again, back to amateur hour again here. Look at this. Right, what have we got? We got a mess. Chop that off. Right, this is what we got. We got a, a biscuit of some sort, yeah? Uh, let me just get rid of all this rubbish. I don't think I need it. So let me just dump that over the back there. Right, I'm going to get another one of my blocks out. This one here. Back in a second. Okay, back again. What I've got... You're going to make this into whatever, you know, I don't know, let's say a bag panel. I'm just going to do a piece of scrap leather I've got lying around. So all it is to show you how to do the inlay. So I need, obviously we've got this circle. I need something smaller than that. So what I thought about was taking one of my jars uh, as a lid and then that can go in there. So this is the size of the hole I'm going to cut so that this is too big. Uh, and I'll just get it right out of this corner over here. Uh, I, I, I'll tell you what, I'll get sharp on this now because it's bloody awful. Give me a minute. I might as well do it when I'm on. I need these two things. Get my knife. Can you see this? Get my knife. Go one, two, three. I'm holding it at a slight angle. I've done this in a video before and I've oiled this stone like hell. There's tons and tons of oil in this. Uh, as you can probably see, it's wet. Right, that'll do it. Take that out of the way. Then I've got my buff stick, which is this thing. It's um, carbon number. I've got a video on how to make these, and then just plain leather on the other side here. So. Went to the other side. Don't do it in the top of a piece of leather. Teaching these bad habits here. That should do it. Right, let's see if it cuts. Ready? Oh, perfecto! See, Italian, eh? Yeah. The only Scottish Italian I know. Right, okay. So I'm going to cut the, a hole. No, I don't. I want to cut this out in the middle for you guys. I don't normally cut it out in the middle, so feel privileged. So out it comes. Now you can do this out of solid leather as well, you know, four mil thick stuff. Uh, this is like two mil thick, you can do it out of anything you want here. Now, I can't remember I just cut all the way around now, I didn't. That's it. And then this bit here, sell it as a coaster, yeah, money. Right, let me just put the lid back on my glue. Oh no, I don't. I need the glue. I need the glue out. I'm going to hold you again because my glue's horrible. Give me a minute. I'll get some fresh glue. Okay, back again. I've got my glue. I'm going to spin this round this side. I'm going to get some glue here. Oh, I should have my glue board out. But so I'm going to attempt to do this without my glue board. Right. What I want is just enough to hold this because I'm going to machine this on in a minute, and I want it wet. So it's just enough to get it to hold. That'll do it. Uh, again, if this is for an item, try and be a bit neater than I'm being. Uh, as I said, I just want to do this for quickness uh, to get it. Normally you would glue two sides and then hold it. I'm just going to go straight for it. Um, turn it around that way. Now the problem with this circle is it going to be a circle. And I'm going to stick it on. There's my piece. Put that in the middle. That's it. So it should be okay. A nice circle. Right. A little bit distorted there. That's also got a piece up. Put that back in there again. Right, so I should have a circle. Again, give me two minutes, guys. I'm going to just put a machine line around this. That'll hold it, yeah? Back in a minute. Okay, guys, that's it machined. Uh, and 
on the back there, if you can see it. And then all I've done is machine run it. Now, it would have been better if I waited for the glue to dry. Uh, let me just pretty this up because it looks horrible. Uh, I haven't a clue what you're going to use it for, uh, but I can see it as an inlay on a bag. Uh, I'm sure there's many more things it's used for. Uh, just, and I've, I don't know, what we call it, a basket weave braid or plait or whatever like, yeah. So again, just to show you what it is, uh, you can make it in a bigger, it can be any shape whatsoever. So if you wanted a diamond, as I say, if you wanted a weavy shape, you make a weavy shape. It's all to do with the stuff you glue in the back that holds it, uh, and then the rest it can cut. Let me just zoom right in there. Okay, guys, as always, uh, I'm going home now. Uh, I hope that was useful for some of you. Uh, okay, have a good day.